Hello and welcome, it's KB here. In this video, I wanna show you guys a free and open source AI tool called DeFocus. Using this, you can edit your photos, plus you can do image generation. This is actually a fork of a really popular uh, AI tool called Focus. I have also made a video in this tool too, but DeFocus, makes this even better. The main thing that you need to understand here is that these tools are based on stable diffusion, text to image AI. And there are other AI tools which uses the stable diffusion, but this one is the best, the focus or defocus. Defocus is like the improved version of uh, focus. So these two tools actually makes using stable diffusion like stupidly simple anyone can use it and you can also edit your photos that is the main thing so if you follow my channel recently you may have seen uh, one of these thumbnails in the thumbnail the guy you see is actually me and i just used defocus to make it look like anime style it looks really cool look at this <laughs> now you can download this and use this locally if you want to it is only available for windows uh, sadly no linux no mac but you can actually use this online on google collab which means you can use any device that you want so there is the official google collab link here and uh, my bad you can also use this on linux and also on mac and also on docker actually it can be used on anything you just have to follow these instructions so if you have a mac follow the mac instructions like how to install it if you have a linux do the same thing if you want to use it in docker then there is that for windows users uh, it is much simpler actually i don't know why but everything is just much simpler in <laughs> windows you can just go to releases and download the defocus portable i actually have this thing installed on my local machine too now let me show you guys how to use this plus uh, what are the differences between the defocus and the original focus now to run this locally on windows once you uh, download this there are just run files here you can also run the uh, presets but it doesn't actually matter which preset you run uh, in defocus it is actually easy to switch to different preset within the uh, GUI now I'm going to show you guys this in Google collab so as I said you can use this on your web browser just open the Google collab just like that and then just simply click on this play icon to run this and it will download all the models and everything and you can also select the presets here realistic anime and all that again or you can go with the default one once you run this it will download all the files and uh, once it's done at the bottom you'll see the url local url public url you just have to open one of these just click on them or open in new tab now this is the user interface i don't know if you have used the focus before but if you have then you'll notice that there are few differences that we can see already photo p is integrated within this so if you generate or edit your photos you can simply copy and paste uh, the images to it and do further editing and there is even a remove background uh, option now you can do a image generation and just like you do with every other uh, text to image ai out there you just have to write a prompt here and click on generate so everyone knows that okay so in this video i just want to show you guys how to edit your images so to do that uh, there are a few options at the bottom input image and advance just enable them so you'll have advanced options and you can input your images and do the image editing so i want to turn this photo into a anime style okay so once you drag and drop or upload a image to it it's gonna process the image and it will automatically generate a prompt for you. So you can see here, it's uh, a man sitting next to green wall holding a microphone, okay? That's pretty good. Now to make this a anime style in upscale or variation, I'm gonna have to click on this second option and I need to make sure that I'm on anime style. So you can see the anime preset is selected here. Uh, I can also go into the style and pick other styles too. For now, I'm just going to keep them default. Default looks 
pretty cool actually you can play around with these uh, presets actually and you can also check which model is being used uh, for this uh, preset so it's nma pencil here you can see and there is advanced option and all that so i'm gonna leave everything as it is and uh, now i'm just gonna click on generate we already have the prompt here so i don't need to write anything so so this is another difference between the defocus and the focus it generates prompt for you based on your images that you input and you can see it's already looking really close uh, to my original picture okay so this is how i made these thumbnails characters using my own picture this one too and this one i forgot to wear my regular black t-shirt but it turned out pretty well like i was wearing the white t-shirt but look at this this is fantastic amazing <laughs> this is me actually and here it is really close actually if you don't like this you can generate few more images until you find the one that you like and you can also make some changes uh, to the prompt okay or you don't actually have to type anything in the prompt because we are doing a image to image generation if there is something that you need to change let's say i'm not smiling so i'm gonna put smiling here and let's do one generation with just one a word and you can see it's a lot better than what i had uh it's not a huge smiley but you can see uh, there is a little bit difference it, it kind of looks like i'm smiling not completely but but it is better than what we had before uh, you can put open mouth something you can change whatever you want okay so this is how you can do the image to anime style and you can also use any specific model that you want from the internet okay so it doesn't have to have a anima pencil that is the one this uses uh, just to make this thing simpler and easy uh, this tool comes with presets and some uh, models and they work pretty well actually out of the box so it, no need to do anything this is like the easy to use a stable diffusion anyone can use it okay now we have image prompt here we can do face swap body swap and everything image to image generation and all that and uh, we also have the in paint and out paint and th this one is actually cool so let's grab the same image here okay and uh, let's say i want to expand this image we have a out paint direction option here we can choose left right top bottom so i'm gonna select all of these and i'm gonna uh, click on generate to expand the image oh i'm using the anime preset i forgot to change uh, the preset because this picture is realistic so i need to actually use the uh, preset realistic okay my bad this is not gonna work out uh, i need to change the preset wait this is a realistic image so i'm gonna have to click on realistic now it should work so we're just gonna wait this image is actually weird like i have the green wall behind me so i don't know if this is actually going to work <laughs> it's trying to put me on an actual wall actually it's thinking maybe it's a tv or something so it, it didn't work the way i wanted it to work but yeah it is thinking something else but you can do image expansions and it works okay but it didn't work with this image <laughs> okay and you can also do a in painting i'm gonna put smile because uh, i'm not smiling so let's actually do that so when you're doing in paint you need to understand some physics like you know i'm putting smile on my face okay but as you know when we smile we also have uh, other emotions too like eyes getting smaller and there are changes in the cheeks so yeah it's a difficult thing to do even for ai so i have a smile but look at the top part it's it's it looks weird because my eyes are not smiling but you can say it works okay actually to edit your face uh, there is a whole another section called improve detail so it's for face hand eyes and all that so uh, you should select that option and then try to do this with the smile just like i did so yeah and if you want to modify the content on your image let's say you want to change the background or you want to add object there is another section modify content so you can select that so now you can use photo p for 
further editing. Copy the image here and paste that image to the photo P. Okay, I may have to turn off the advanced option so it's bigger. <laughs> this smile is killing me. Okay, but it works. Okay, so we have the remove background option which also works amazingly. I'm just gonna click on remove background. It is actually perfect. I can uh, clean out these greens later using using some other tools in photo editor but this is actually perfect and there is the describe option if you put any image in here and then select the content type photograph art anime so this is a photograph of uh, car so i'm gonna select that and click on describe this image into prompt when i do that it's gonna generate a prompt and i can generate a image based on this prompt so let's actually do this and look at that it is almost same as uh, this one look at that isn't it yeah and we are not even using input image or advanced option and look at that this picture looks so realistic so yeah this is the defocus ai tool so this is the one that i'm actually using for ai image generation plus for my image editing this is actually cool uh, before this i was using the focus but after discovering the defocus i mean yeah i had to go with it they are actually almost the same thing but defocus is much better and it adds more features like the photo p background removal plus you can switch in between the presets easily so yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it if you want to learn more about this uh, you should go to the official github page and yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.